Hi, I'm Danielle from djcorbia.co.uk and today I'm going to show you how to applique letters. This letter is a 300 point P from the word processing program on my computer, so very easy to make. If you're going to make smaller or more complicated letters as these ones, you may want to use a fusible web and um, you won't need to sew the edges there. So, you will want to have your paper piece and have it cut out. So you want to place it face down so that it's the wrong way. So when you flip, your letter is the right way out. So you want to square it up as well as you can. For the middle, you want to fold in half from there up to the corner, but be careful not to cut too far. And folding the fabric over, making sure to keep the nice sharp edge of the paper. So going into the corner where it's going back down the stem of the letter, or the P, Cut on an angle, making sure not to cut too close to the edge. Continue tacking round. There is your tacked P ready to be sewn on to its background. You take some pins. Square it up. So once the letter is pinned to the background, you want to start to applique it. And I classify this as invisible because the stitch is uh, as hidden as possible. So starting with the knot at the back, you want to come up right on the edge, a minimal few threads of the P, going back under taking a few threads of the backing and coming back up onto the P and continue around. Okay, so I have finished appliqueing the letter. So when you've appliqued all your letters, you can then remove the tacking stitch. So easiest way is to probably use a pin and just pull it out. I have completely sewn round, so I can't remove the paper from the front, but if you would not like to have flat back, if before you finish stitching in the back, you remove the tacking in the paper and then finish sewing the applique. And you can pull the paper out. And that's how to applique letters.